some of his uh, convictions. He was in jail, convicted of trying to sell President Obama's Senate seat after he was elevated to the presidency. Eight years later, he sits in jail and President Obama gives a speech for the ages at the Democratic Convention last night. That's where we start with They Said It here on the Big 550 KTRS. President Obama wrote a book called The Audacity of Hope. Last night he had the audacity to quote the conservative icon Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan called America a shining city on a hill. Donald Trump calls it a, divi a divided crime scene that only he can fix. President Obama went on to talk about the America that he knows. Black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American, young, old, gay, straight, men, women, folks with disabilities, all pledging allegiance under the same proud flag to this big, bold country that we love. That's what I see. That's the America I know. Mayor Bloomberg, independent, was a Democrat, was a Republican, definitely was the mayor of New York, spoke last night as he endorsed Hillary Clinton. Trump says he wants to run the nation like he's running his business? God help us. Uh, now, Donald Trump made big news yesterday when he held a news conference shortly after the show ended, and all the talk was about how he talked about Vladimir Putin and Hillary Clinton's emails. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Now, a lot of people took that as borderline espionage, borderline treason, basically asking an American adversary to break into an American citizen's email account uh, and in, get involved in our elections. Paul Manafort this morning on Fox News said that's not what he said at all. First of all, he didn't encourage anybody to hack. Uh, secondly, what he said was that the 33 illegally deleted emails are still missing, and he was making a sarcastic point about those 33,000 emails. But the bottom line on the whole thing is that as far as uh, the, what people should be outraged about is the fact that the, anybody could have hacked into the server of the Secretary of State and gotten secrets that, uh, that could compromise our national security. There you go. And finally, Claire McCaskill, Missouri's senior senator, was on MSNBC yesterday. Here's what she thought about the whole mess. Anybody who would run for president and invite Russia to attack our country, and make no mistake, cyber attacks are an attack on our national security. He is inviting an aggressive country that we are really worried about to invade us. Um, this is this is ri ridiculous, and frankly, it borders on treasonous. Seven oh eight here, big five.